Hello lovelies. On Monday is when things start to get real um, and exams start to feel very, very close because on Monday is the day the exam boards tell us what is going to be on the exams. So if for some reason you weren't aware, there has been a lot of disruption to schooling over the past two years with people being in school, people being out of school, people having their teachers, people having cover teachers, people having no teachers, people learning in school, people learning at home, people having disrupted internet connections and dropping out in the middle of lessons. It's been a bit all over the place. So the exam awards, uh, the government, sorry, haven't cancelled exams and I don't think they're going to. What they have done to, um, they say kind of like mitigate, uh, to account for the fact that schooling has been so disrupted over the past couple of years, is they're going to give us advanced information about what is going to be on the exams. Now, this is due to be released on Monday. Um, I do not expect it to be at nine o'clock on Monday because that's just not the way things work. I expect it to be about six o'clock Monday evening when this document, these documents, one from each of the examples, are going to be released. Um, then what I'm going to do is to spend Tuesday, Monday, if it's released on Monday, Tuesday probably, going through all these, pulling out all the important bits of information, getting them up on my website for you so you can go and have a look at them, and then also sorting them out into video format and putting them up, um, I really need to cut my fringe, um, putting them up all over the place so that the information from the really long, complicated, very teachery, Example documents is a nice, easy to digest information place for you. So they're going to be on my website, they're going to be on all my social media platforms in whatever format works best for them. But what I'm going to do um, here is just make a really long and boring video, I know. Um, and then you can use the timestamps to jump between exams and just look at the bit of the video that you are interested in. So if you were doing um, like AQA, uh, Combined Science, Biology, Paper 2, then you can click on that timestamp and jump straight to that. Or if you're doing Edexcel, AS Maths, Paper 3, Paper 2, there's only two, AS, um, AS Maths, Paper 2, then you can click on that timestamp and jump straight to that video. So for GCSE and A-level Science and Maths, I'm going to digest all the information and put it out in one easy to understand video for you. Then what I'm going to go and do is look at all the predictive papers that I have written for um this year see how accurate they are um generally i'm pretty good at this this is like my superhero skill um really pretty good at predicting the papers um make any final changes to predicted papers get them sent off to the printers get them ready to be uploaded onto my website um so that they will go live on the first monday these holidays which are things like the fourth or the fifth this year then what I'm going to do is start releasing videos to fill in the gaps so for GCSE things are generally uh, the list is generally going to be done in specification order whereas for A level the list is going to be ranked so the topic that gives you the most marks on the exam paper is going to be um, first in the rank so we know which topic is going to give us the most marks and then I'm going to focus on making those videos, really, really detailed videos, to go out for you. The other thing we should know is what practicals are going to be on which exam. Um, so that I can start putting those videos out for you if I haven't done them already. I'm going to start putting more information out for you. Um, where to get this bit of information, how to find exam questions on this, or do the video for this. Um, because you do not have to have done all of the practicals for... Um, GCSE or A-level science this year, but you need to be aware of them because you still need to answer exam questions on them, and they are 15% of your grade. GCSE, A-level, biology, chemistry, math, it's 15% of your grade is practicals. Um, and if you haven't done them, that is hard, but fortunately I have done most of them for you, and then when you load questions on how to do them. So, nobody panic. I, well no, I can panic because I've got a shed load of work to do between now and the exams, getting as much information ready and available for you guys in a really easy to digest manner, making sure that everything you need is available for you so you can do as well as possible in these exams. However, you do not need to panic or worry because I am doing that bit for you. Um... 
So yes, that is the video that I'm going to be working on Monday, Tuesday, maybe into Wednesday, depending on how late the exam boards release information and how easy it is to digest to go through all the stuff. So Tuesday or Wednesday, that video will come out and um, it will link through to the website. So if you don't want to watch the video or if you don't want to watch any of the kind of like the, the short form videos, then you can go to the website and pick which exams you're doing um, and find the information that way. Um, I'm going to tell you straight up, I cannot do every single exam, okay? Because there are a lot. Um, for example, if we do like AQA, GCC Science, that's 12 different exam papers. That's going to take me a lot of time. You add in Excel, that's 24 different exam papers. I can't then go through and do geography and history and RS. I just don't have the time. Otherwise, I'll spend all my time doing that. And then I won't get the science and maths resources out for you. So I'm just focusing on science and maths and English of GCC because I might just throw that in there. Um, please go and ask your English and geography YouTubers for help with the advanced information. I'm sure they'll be putting stuff out, but just to let you know, I would love to have an infinite amount of time, but I don't, so I can't cover every single subject and I can't cover every single exam board um, because they really haven't given us much time to get this information sorted and done. Um, but yes, video will be coming out, workbooks, um, predicted papers will be coming out. Um, predicted papers are looking really, really good this year. Um, and we've got so many practice papers up on the website now already. It's looking really, really nice. Um, yes, so do not worry, guys. I've got you covered. I'm going to be working every single hour to get stuff done, stuff up for you. We're going to get it ready. You don't need to panic. We have got this covered. Ouch! This is why in some videos I have unexplained scratches.